It seems the future Nexus smartphone will once again be a phablet. Nintendo shares a timetable for when we could expect its mobile games, and it seems that the US market has fallen in love with phablets. I'm Jaime Rivera with so much work on a Friday that only a beer would help me through it. This is Pocket Now Daily. We have a lot of official news today, starting with Nintendo. The company has come on record to confirm when we can expect mobile games in a very vague way. Because, uh, well, they've confirmed that they plan to launch up to five, listen, five new games between now and 2017. Uh, five games in uh, almost, oh my god, this is like almost three years. Two years, I know, but my, it's just crazy. But yeah, Nintendo is planning to do that. Remember, new games. We're not talking about ports to existing ones. Uh, let's see when the first one comes in. Another official news today is ZTE's launch of this Nubia Z9 that we've been covering for a couple of weeks now. What's cool about the smartphone is that it has no bezel, so it beat Oppo to the punch for the R7. And uh, other cool things about this phone are the fact that it's really not a mid-tier device. This is a flagship phone. We've got a Snapdragon 810 processor. We've got various options for RAM and storage, and depending on that is the price tag. And uh, yeah, you also get a, a 1080p display with that, and it's a really cool design that allows you to use the bezels as a way to operate the phone. Uh, we'll keep you posted as soon as our review unit arrives. Samsung has also made its Gear VR for the Galaxy S6 official. You can pick it up at Best Buy today for $200. A really decent price, and if you're wondering if it's really worth it to buy this product, I would say it is. I would definitely buy it if I had a Galaxy S6, mainly because the whole experience playing games is actually very cool. Just keep in mind, uh, well, the battery life on the Galaxy S6 is not the best, so that's the only caveat. For those of you asking us on Twitter, when is the next Nexus smartphone going to be launched by Google? It seems that the program will continue. We've heard rumors that it's coming from China, and uh, we've got trusted sources now claiming that the OEM will be Huawei. And uh, particularly, the interesting news today is that apparently it will be a phablet again. Hopefully not the same price tag, but it uh, seems we're getting a 5.7 inch Quad HD display. And this display will be an OLED display provided by Samsung, in addition to a Snapdragon 810 processor. Uh, which is really interesting because if it's an 810, we wonder if we're going to wait much for this phone. Uh, we'll probably learn more at Google I.O. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, we've got some statistics over the phablet market in the United States, and this is a true shocker. First of all, between Q1 2014 and Q1 2015, the market has grown four times, which is crazy. It's currently making 21% of the smartphone market in the United States. And if you wonder which is the company that's owning it, Apple, 44% of the phablet market, though we don't get any news on the Galaxy Note 4, given this is the first phablet ever. And uh, yeah, it should be up there, but we don't really have any details. It's really interesting how big phones are becoming a thing lately, up to the point where phablets are on decline. And it leads me to the question of the day. If you had to pick a phablet today, which one would you buy? If you had the money and wanted to buy a phablet, which one would you buy? Which one do you have? In my case, the Galaxy Note lineup will always be my preferred phablet, not because it's a Samsung phone or because of the S Pen. I just feel that it'd give me more for my money, but that's my opinion. Leave us a comment down below. What's your case? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.